Everybody's feeling super charged and super grateful. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, kindly subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. Uh, so today's video is me answering questions that I asked you guys on my Instagram. By the way, if you do not follow me on my Instagram, my name is just Mufit on all social media platforms. I get to post a lot of fitness, lifestyle, same as here. Yeah, same as here. So kindly go follow. And so I asked a couple, I asked you to ask me questions that you'd want me to answer. So that's what I'm going to answer today. And then guys, I just had a chapo pasua. Like I just made a cha myself a chapo pasua. I feel so full. <laughs> I feel so full. I feel so good. You know, those who do not know what cha chapo pasua is, is when like you make the egg and then you put the chapati and then you just, and then you just have it with a hot cup of cocoa it slapped so i feel hot yeah i don't know if i'll insert that video here because i actually recorded yeah we might so today's topic is or rather today's video is the questions like questions you'd want to know about me i did i asked i wrote down these questions on i think thursday and today is monday the holiday i do not know i haven't been feeling content creative ish you know sometimes you just don't feel like just sitting in front of a camera alone in your house just talking to yourself but <clears throat> i have to do it because i want to post the vlog uh this week so yeah so i just wrote them how they came i did not write them in any particular order they were a lot guys i combined some like some like like for example the first question how old am i it was asked by like three people so yeah i combined i didn't repeat the ones that you guys asked and you guys repeated like a couple of questions i'm like wait <laughs> so i'm gonna start uh in this order so that i do not confuse myself okay uh please make sure you subscribe and like this video just support your girl it doesn't cost you nothing it just comes from the goodness of your heart especially if you enjoy my content kindly subscribe so that and you turn on your notification bell so that every time i upload you get notified i uh, straight into the video i turned uh, 26 last year december so this year i'm turning 27 i know guys okay, sometimes it scares me because i'm like at this age my mom had already I would think I would, at this my mom got me when she was I think nineteen or twenty. So <laughs> I usually think it's twenty seven and I with no plans to like ah it's a lot. But yeah, I'm turning twenty seven this year. Um how far let me just start with the obvious one. Do I fancy family? I am very, very, very family oriented. I think I'll just be honest in this vlog. I think in my early uh, years, I never fancied marriage or getting kids. I didn't see myself as that. But as I've grown up, I've come across really nice people who've altered my way of thinking in regards to marriage and family. I'm very family oriented. Like I love my family, but I yeah, like like three four years ago, I was never into marriage and kids. I just didn't think it's a life i had to live but right now i'm very excited about marriage and very 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 excited about starting my own family how far am i i would want to have kids in like the next two years but a lot of things have a role to play but if god wills it and i would want to do that if i'm in a happy stable um marriage like i would want to do it when i'm officially married so depending on how things move I would want to get kids uh, in like kids and a family in like two three years before I turn 30. Ah! 30! <laughs> Where?
Uh, yes, I'm seeing someone where I've decided to keep it private. Like all my other relationships, I've never introduced any of my boyfriends. Because obviously I'm not dating the same guy I was dating like five years ago. So I feel like for me to like introduce anyone to an online space, that would mean they are permanent. Yeah, so if you see me post a nigga, if you see me post a boo, just know I'm either engaged or actually married. So the reason I'm keeping it private is because it's not my thing. Yeah, it's not my thing until we're officially married. I would want to, uh, now once it's visa free, but yeah, I would definitely want to. If an opportunity arises or if I can find myself here, I'll definitely, it's definitely uh, in my bucket list. I'll definitely go to South Africa. For me, guys, is the fact that I have to be motivated. Like, I do not have a choice. When I'm not motivated to do the things that I need to do, those things won't happen for me. Do you understand? Like, it's just me. I have to be motivated. Seen a choice. Like, I do not have a choice. I feel like I am in charge or I have so much responsibility to even depend on motivation. Um, see, she said every day. I don't know if it was in regards to the gym. In regards to the gym, it's the same thing. I have these goals that no matter what happens, I'm the one who's supposed to accomplish them. I'm the one who's supposed to do them. So if I don't feel motivated, who's gonna do them? Also, I feel like I'm very consistent with a lot of even with YouTube. You guys can see I'm not struggling with consistency. It become it's almost close to natural for me to just be consistent. I am an overthinker. I overthink a lot. I I want to know everything to the last detail. If I was to be asked, I'd prefer to know when am I gonna die? When am I gonna get kids? Like the exact date. Even when I start a relationship, I'm like, is this going to work? Like I want to have it all figured out. Figured out, and I tend to overthink. And nowadays, what I do, I I everything that has happened in my life has been super random. And judging by the trajectory of how things have happened, why should I even act like I'm in control of anything? So I think the way you should cap that or the way you can be able to deal with that is just trust that if you're Christian, if you're Muslim, if you're a believer, trust that God has good plans for you. Like nowadays I'm like, I know he has good plans for me. I know something amazing is Nimekewa Kitu, Kitu poor. Like whatever I do not have, Nimekewa. Like whatever you haven't achieved yet, as long as you're working towards it, it's gonna happen god loves you so nothing bad will happen to your people nothing bad will happen to your things and if anything happens it's just a mountain that you he's gonna give you the grace and the strength to overcome okay um i tend i, I like to be very honest i've never been one person to have like a very big stomach because most of the people like judge progress mostly by the size of your stomach in terms of the gym it's sad so I've never had like a very big stomach. I was very, I was very small. I was very narrow, like my shoulders were like this. I was just like this, but I didn't have a big, I didn't have a big stomach. In fact, I had a wide, wide, wide. I was wide here, I was wide down here. But so for me, I would say weight gain because I was, I think 56. For how long it took me to be like, now I'm 72. This is the fourth year. This is the fourth year of weight training, so I think four years. Actually, I have clothes mixed, mixed like mixed for my small sister, for my me, for my other sister, all wrapped in ones. I was looking to give it to a children's home, but if you'd come and select the ones you want, and then I I am left with the ones I want to like give away. I think that would be okay, but it's mixed. I do not know if it's anything you'd fancy, but it's just mixed. You can come check yes she does why am i choosing i want both i want both i know <laughs> i want both because i feel like um love in i think you're talking about like romantic love because why else would you compare it with money because if your pups loves you it's genuine no money no nothing i feel love and money because romance with money is very nice you don't argue about small shit you get everything done but honestly my ultra self would prefer money because i am very 
mm, self sufficient it's been a bad thing like self like na feel kind of socialize in terms of not requiring to be loved and i know that statement just screamed you need love until i worked on me and i realized like allowing others to love you is actually very rich um so nowadays i think i would want both both i want the love because i'm very i'm a very lovely mushy person and i want the money because why not i know it does i don't even think i know it does but it's not like the mushy uh alejandro love it's love that makes you a better person like love that makes you there is true love that and i feel like we all experience this in different capacities like with friendship with the love that your dad has for you like true love for me is not romantic it's when someone or loves you genuinely for literally who you are raw with all your for all flaws with all your faults and just choose to love and bring out the best version of you and i've experienced this with my sibs my sisters i've experienced this with uh different people that i've gotten involved with i've experienced this with my friends so for me true love really exists and for me true love is when you are in a relationship or when you're in a connection that you get to be the rawest and the realest version of you and the other person gets to re reciprocate that All you think is yash, yash, yash. I don't feel anything. Honestly, I do not. I do not feel anything. I do not feel anything. If anything, the only thing I feel from having an ass is the attracting of the attention. Because an ass in Kenya is such a big deal. It's crazy a big deal. That not, nowadays I don't even walk in town. I don't even remember the last time I was walking in town. Or in a public means. Or just somewhere where I'm exposed. And for long because i have gotten harassed a couple of times by the way see true story and not saying hi to the person that says hi to you because sometimes they say hi to you in a very bad way i know i'm diverting but yeah so uh, it doesn't make me feel different when i sit but it has really made me uncomfortable in public places and yeah yeah i wish people would just change the like that um way of thinking that you can just admire see others also approach you very nicely you're like hey you have a nice body and then you're like thank you but when it's like a gang of men just telling you hey una kapi tu meiva hey you know like it's very it's harassment and it really has given me a phobia to actually like, just like walking down yeah so that's the only thing that i think is different but like when i see it it's totally the same it's totally normal I would tell her that she's amazing that in 6 years she has accomplished a lot in regards to her goals as a baby in regards to her mental health in regards to who she is as a person oh my god I'm tiary and I would tell her to not rush anything and to work her process but i feel like i haven't quite changed much it's just the fact that i've gone through so many things i would tell her to like hmm, i would tell her to like uh stay strong and things do get better <laughs> things uh, i would tell my 20 year old self that things do get better yeah that's what i'd tell her ah, am i getting teary <laughs> Yes, actually right now I am not doing any in person sessions unless it's very premium. I only have two premium in person sessions. Um because my time has been very tricky. I only do online stroke uh, virtual training. So if you ask for do I do fitness plus do I yes, that is literally what I do. And they come with different price ranges, come with different time, come with different how how much i'm involved depends on whichever program you take and they work actually if it doesn't work for you in 2 months i take you off the program myself yes i have said this on my if you've watched my fitness vlogs that i've posted on this on this uh, channel i always say warm ups are very important cuz i like to compete with sex like it's like foreplay what 
but that aside it, it's really beneficial for your muscles for your joints just not like load up your weight so by warm up i mean dynamic do not turn up that treadmill that is not warm up i mean by like doing uh dynamic stretches if you're training your shoulders do dynamic stretches for your shoulders if you're training your legs do that for that if you're doing upper body there's dynamic work uh straight uh, warm-ups for that i have given a uh, an example of the dynamic stretches i do on a video titled back and biceps so you can definitely check that out but it is very very important first of all let me just say like that has been the best thing that ever happened to me like it was only for four months and it was the best thing that ever happened to me I feel like that's a whole video so please kindly allow me to do a whole video of that in like a month i'll do a whole video about what went down what i was there for blah 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 okay that means your follower your kid shout out to you i do legs and every muscle twice a week so my workout split usually allows me to train muscles twice a week if that's a topic you'd want me to discuss uh, workout split you can comment in the comment section and I'll do a whole video for that as well You can calorie no I for me I feel like it's really hard for us most bodies to just uh, lose any Fat or weight on a surplus because already the fact that you want to lose the belly is because you Your body fat is high so the only way you can do that is either eating at maintenance. At maintenance means you're consuming the same amount of calories you'd consume to maintain the weight you have. Say if you're 60 and this is the, weight, the amount of food you eat to maintain the 60, you do that. Yeah, it's called eating at maintenance. Because eating at a surplus makes, unless you, it's tricky. Just eat at maintenance and then increase your activity level. Like make sure you're training nicely, you're hydrating, you're sleeping, okay and uh, you have scheduled like one cardio and train your core muscles your stomach muscles like every muscle and not like only by doing sit-ups there's a lot plenty of ways that you can do that also make sure that you're packing in clean uh clean calories um by eating clean when i say clean i don't say do not not restrictive just make sure you're eating high protein uh, and yeah high protein foods high protein foods and high nutrient dense food okay so like um for example like even when you have a smoothie instead of it having banana mango make sure you have some ground nuts so like just make sure the calories that you're packing in are quality so that way you won't gain uh fat while it's trying to gain weight so i am 72 my waist right now is something 27 my hips are 47. <laughs> Come on, baby boo. I've been doing it for four years. Do I look hard? But yeah, it's a myth. Like you said, there's a myth. Yes, it's a myth. Uh, we do not even have enough test test Mo, what do you mean testosterone? Testosterone. To get us Where? to be bulky, to get us to be hard. Yeah, so it's a myth to just uh, shy you away from lifting weights. And lifting heavy requires a lot of commitment, a lot of dedication, a lot of time, a lot of work to just get like a bicep. Hey guys, I have guns. To just get like a bicep out or a quad out, it takes so much, so much that you, the last thing you'll be worried about is looking like a man because it's going to take you forever. Have a plan, have a trainer. If you're a beginner, the best investment, and I'm not saying because I'm a trainer, the best investment you'd ever make for you is getting a trainer. It saves you so much time so that you do not join the aerobic classes and you just lose your mass. And then when you're starting to gain weight back again, you do not have to lose your weight to, and your fat for you to start over. You know, because I've lost enough. People say, I want to lose fat fast, and then I can start gaining. You don't have to do it if your goal is not fat loss you get so get a trainer get someone who actually understands the craft someone who's willing to work with you the journey uh that will help also if, a uh, if you're already like um in it invest in good programs you know like not just that you're doing it you're going to the gym and you're training like arms <laughs> you just have arms day as a day i no no bro like just make sure you're 
workout split allows you to give every muscle including your upper body ladies gives get to give every muscle uh, enough time to rest and enough time to be trained huh? and also i would say look go for sustainability this refers to where are you going to the gym is it somewhere you have to like worry about the stress of getting a cab or go driving like make sure like the gym you're going to is convenient for you the rates that they're charging are convenient um the program you've started you can sustainably do it do not go for five days when you and uh, you can only make for two just make sure you're going for sustainability be very reasonable and realistic about how soon you can your body supposed to change you know just do it and um love whoo this is the best one just love and enjoy your process you'll just be shocked like oh that's an ab oh that's an ass oh you get just enjoy the process stay consistent discipline remember you versus you do not compare yourself with anyone everybody's working their own journeys so i think yes that that, that that's okay yeah and eat right So it's actually usually very simple and do not get why we always complicate it. If you want to gain weight, be at a calorie surplus. This means consuming more calories than your body requires to maintain your current weight, given the level of activities that you're doing. Did you understand? Uh, and weight loss, eating less than your body requires to maintain your, cut, your certain weight. Like say if I'm 72, there's this amount of calories that I can eat to maintain that weight. There's this amount of calories that I can eat for me to reduce this weight. So if you're gaining weight, just make sure you're eating above what you need to maintain the current weight you have. If you're losing weight, make sure you eat lesser. And I'm not saying fast. I'm not saying do not eat certain foods. Eat all foods, but in moderation in regards to the goal. Okay. Because like telling me someone like me who works out like crazy to cut on my carbs is not doesn't make sense. So I'm not saying cut on your carbs. I'm just saying... Uh, According to your goal, eat either above or below. And I feel like nutrition and the foods that you should eat, again, is a different uh, topic. I'm going to try to have those nutritional and uh, fitness vlogs if you'd be interested. Uh, and I would really do, even if two people are interested, that is enough quorum. I'll definitely talk about such videos on here. If your body's body body recomposition is basically like reducing the you can maintain is maintaining the body you have the weight you have while it's like making slight adjustments in terms of like your body fat percentage so if you want to do that for me what works for me these things when, when i say what works for me is because you there is no standard law what works for because we have different uh metabolisms like some of us can body recomp at a surplus some can body recomp at, at, a, at a deficit but what's what works for me and like a couple of clients for me that what i think works is if you want to do body recomposition eat at maintenance so eating at maintenance is like eating the calories that you need to maintain the current weight that you have and then when you go to the gym make sure you're progressively loading your weight like you're going hard on yourself and you incorporate like cardio or at least 15 to 20, 15 to 30 minutes on the treadmill after your sessions, like on incline. And now that we're talking about treadmills, if your goal is weight loss, you can do the treadmill before your workouts. If your goal is weight gain, make sure you're scheduling weight gain. I'm just weight training. Just make sure you schedule your um, treadmill at the end of the session. I don't care like as long as you're not lgbtqing on me <laughs> honestly i do not care how people choose to live their lives i do not like that is like my forever mood is zero facts in regards to how people choose to live their lives in regards to how who people choose to love like as long as it doesn't affect me directly just do you boo boo um as long as you're not hurting other people or like just infringing on other people's space and just do you like when you start bringing it on my face and maybe like hitting on me and i'm not interested that is when we have a problem but i do not have any problem any zero like i have i wouldn't mind having friends who that that way <laughs> It doesn't it doesn't matter it's like the weather in us right now does it really affect me no so if you uh if that's who you are like i just respect and appreciate I just respect that 
because I my opinion is that I don't care. <laughs> I just like people can love whoever they want to love people can do whatever they want to do as long as it's not like putting other people in harm's way do you boo boo by the way guys like you should make some compliments like i just wrote them on the side in case i have like the energy to read them sometimes i have like a very bad day and then i decide to go through my dms and then I just find people telling me how I inspire them, how when they don't want to go to the gym, they just come to my page. And I wasn't even doing this to inspire people because why am I pl placing that responsibility on myself? For me, my Instagram is like a John Ling. It's just like me putting it out there so that if I'm never hurt, I just look back and be like, oh my God, you're so tiny here. Oh my God, I look so amazing here. Oh my, you know, like it's, it's just like John Ling. So the fact that it gets to inspire people, the fact that it gets to like, um, add on to my purpose this is just so heartwarming and appreciate everybody who finds me inspirational i am so faulty but the fact that i can do small good things on social media it makes me really happy i really hate people who don't have a scent like please smell good <laughs> i know it's weird but please smell good what do you mean by that? Like, please, just, I need to be, you need to be like, past me and I'm like, you know, like, something. I don't like people who just don't, I don't, it's, I just don't like it. I don't know if this is a pet peeve, pet peeve, but I really don't like people who are just full of themselves. Like, you're human. Are you a god? Are you a god? Like, anyone who just treats other people as if, they are superior than them in regards to whatever capacity, whoever your dad is, whatever job position you have. Like the slightest, like if I feel like the slightest of weird vibe, I really like disregard and shut down from you completely. We were also talking about this with my friend Josie. I don't like people who don't have an aura. Like an aura, like you can't read them. You don't know if they are good people, you don't know if they are disregarding people. People were just like they are. You don't know where they stand in regards to this. They don't like standing up for certain things. They just exist. I really feel very threatened and not safe with such people. Pet peeves. Um, um, I don't know. I don't think I have like pet peeves for like dirty people because I wouldn't be around them. So it doesn't bother me. <laughs> but yeah, th I, those are the things I, I have like mm, about. I have gotten this question three times. So what do you guys think I do for a living? <laughs> I'm a fitness trainer. I'm a fitness trainer, guys. If God will see it even tomorrow or the next day, but I would like uh, in like two, three years. No pressure. Like I am one to like not feel pressured at all and when i say that see could you say measure i literally don't care i i am working towards it i'm praying for it but when it happens it happens mm, yeah why not but i don't want to say yeah why not and i've been turning them down i just feel like right now i i am not in the space to like uh, create content with other people in regards to fitness but I definitely do it. Like, yeah, if our schedules align, why not? I am open. Again, I do not care. One thing about me, I will never, ever, ever, guys, address you on my comments. How many comments do you think I get for people who are just up in my business on a daily? Like, I my last post. By the time this video goes up, maybe it won't be my last. It's me recording a vlog. And then someone comments something. Uh, recording like me just like sitting here, sipping my lemon tea. And then someone just... And I don't know what's with men nowadays. Men are very rude and mean on social media. I don't even get backlash from ladies as I do from men. It's very small boy behavior. Stop it. Get some help. You know... So I got something and it was actually like a question which was very backhanded. I'll never address you. I just delete and no, I just delete and restrict to give you a chance, boy boy. And then the next time I see a restricted comment talking shit.
stupid. I'm not gonna let you get the chance. Cause why? Why are you in my space? Like I feel like you, you should be honored that you are in my space and behave yourself. You know. <laughs> so I just don't care. I just don't care about Zimbabwe. I feel like it's just a reflection of what they're dealing with, and I do not want them to deal with it on me and my space. So I usually just uh, restrict and delete that comment because I do not want to know the other, the other friends and small brothers and small kids of this bully to come here and make it a conversation on my page. Also, I don't like when now other people are just coming here to stand up for me because I feel like it's so much drama and I do not know these people and I do not care. So I prefer to delete the comments, restrict them, give them a chance. And if a restricted comment says anything shitty, I just block them because I'm like, get out yeah um i have been watching you for a minute and i actually admire how far you've come nakumbuka uki post video kitembea kwa ile barabara and ah yes guys like hey someone called so yeah this person was saying he remembers how ama she remembers how they used to see me uh, post my videos on a certain road yeah that's why i started in kikuyu and I got so many positive comments and compliments that I can't be able to read. It just feels cringe. But I just want to take this opportunity to like thank you all for being my new subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this um, gave you a little bit of insight in regards to who I am. And if you want us to, if you want me to have like deep topics in regards to like the issues that we've talked about, but I haven't elaborated, you can tell me. Um, I love you so much. Yeah, remember to subscribe, like, share uh turn on the notification bell so that every time i post you get notified and yeah stay charged stay grateful mm -hmm.